settle down and get calm and dry. And even if you're a really peaceful place compared to Tabawa, really feel like, let's see everyone you focus on there. So, so, yeah, before practicing meditation, you must understand uh, the nature of physical process and the nature of mental process first. So, uh, the nature of mental process, there are two, two processes, mental process, uh, subconscious mind and conscious mind, habitual nature and the meditating nature. So, habitually, the mind is like a confused, mind is like a lazy, mind is like too angry, unsatisfied. So, most of the times, these minds will be arising. In your daily life, most of the time, these minds. So, meditating time also, most of the times, these minds like to arise. Wondering, thinking, unsatisfying, and uh, like, like jaywalking, not knowing the ignorance, it will come. But once you are aware, you are, you are confusing, get cold and confused, just do your job with calm mind. So, this is the present mind. But however you are trying to uh, stabilize the mind, habitual minds likes to arise. So this habitual nature is non-self nature, anatta, anatta nature. Atta means self, anatta means non-self. So these, these minds, you are not asking your minds to happen this, it happen itself habitually. So, let it be. <laughs> Once you're aware, and not to be unsatisfied with your previous mental process, let it be. Just calm down, just focus back on your present actions, walking only. Did you notice that I woke up when you came to me? Yeah. I was sleeping. Yeah. I didn't be <laughs> so, that kind of people yeah, need to remind uh, one time and it's very effective, I know because I, I really have experienced now uh, many times already so many people not many, inside the room just some people have done that but most of the times most of the sessions, only these people like to mm-hmm. at this end. So, however you shout with loud voice, keep your head up. If you if you use your voice loud, it's not a fact. <laughs> it still still happens with this. But if you go close to that percent, keep your head up, and it it will be really effective. Mm-hmm. Because then they know you need me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always use a phrase, you know, as you come to me. It's like, I, I hear you walking around and like, one time in a meditation retreat, you, you were behind me and I was like, is he coming, is he coming, is he coming? <laughs> so I didn't have calm mind, you know, it was stressful. Usin <laughs> <laughs> is doing the playful thing. <laughs> no, you must have unshakable mind, unshaking mind, how, how he will think about me. Let him think. Mm, that's the improvements. How the other people will think about me? Okay, no problem. Let me think. With that kind of mind, you must live the life. Mm. One of the purpose of meditation is that unshakable mind, very calm mind, very confident with yourself. And only when you are confident with yourself, you will get that calm mind. If you are not no confidence with yourself, you will be confused. Uh, so I want to recommend you that do not read too much. Do not listen too much of the monk talk. Do not read too much of the monk books. You need to read, you need to listen, but don't make it too much. <coughs> Just after reading Psalms, you try to make your mind stabilize and calm to get somebody in your mind. And then only 
you will be really understand what what you you read meaning, what you listen is meaning. What is rupa, what is nama? Uh, by your own understanding, you will you will understand it. So, in every meditation sessions, I'm trying to. For people's mind to stabilize, to get somebody that is my intention. So I don't want to give so many informations. Whatever guidance, whatever words I am using, is to stabilize people's mind. That's only that. So just do that. Just do that, and you will see the difference. very important for meditators to understand. There is no self. Nothing is permanently existing as self. So, uh, just the physical process and mental process. The physical process, <coughs> yes, our body is a physical process. Uh, this body is composed of very tiny particles called rupa klapas. And no rupa klapa is permanently existing. Arise and pass away, arise and pass away only. And, uh, but the grade is too high, so it seems like it is that something is existing. <coughs> there are four causes for this rupa klapa process to go on. Kama, Seta, Udu, Ahara. Kama is Kama and the present action are called Kama. And Seta, the mind. Udu is the weather. Ahara is the food. <coughs> so, if you have Kama to born as a human, you will get Rupa Klapas. Humans with Rupa Klapas. The human Rupa will be continuously replacing until you die. Like if you have karma to live your life up to 80 years old, up to 80 years old, the Rupa Klapas will be replacing. And although you have the past karma to live 80, up to 80 years old, but if you are not taking care of your life, uh, at the present life, you cannot live up to 80 years old. So it, it is karma is past plus present. And uh, you have karma to have like uh, like uh, good complexions, past karma. But if you don't care your health, your complexions at the present, it 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 will no more uh, good complexions. Okay. So, uh, in this present life, our Rupa Klapas, our life, started from a small dog of water inside the mother's stomach, belly, and it's growing this big size of the body. So, who is filling up <coughs> this Rupa Klapa? Is the Kama. Kama is, past Kama is one of the cause. And the present, Actions, taking care of your life, eat enough food, sleep enough times, that kind of actions are one of the cause. Karma is one of the cause. Seta is one of the cause. So, uh, whatever like breathing in, breathing out, actually is controlling by the mind. The mind is asking to breathe in, the mind is asking to breathe out. The mind is asking to eat, the mind is asking to sleep. Like, but the mind is one of the cause. And the Udu, the weather, is one of the cause. Uh, and the Ahara, the food, is one of the cause. So because of these four causes supporting, then you are getting the effect, the process going on, physical process going on. And not only 
only the physical process, you know, mental process. And mental has the nature of feeling, perceptions, uh, volitions, mental consciousness. Feelings, memorizing, uh, creations, doings, knowing, and teacher. So no, among these four, like no mind is permanently existing. There is like, like, uh, a self existing. No, no such kind of things. Uh, now we are hearing. Is Christ. That hearing mind, it was not existed. Only when that, that sound and our ear senses touch and the hearing mind arise. So, so which one we will call self? There is nothing to call self. There is no nature of self. But uh, if you understand that part only, it's not enough. No self. And there is self. We can see, we can see the appearance, the body, we can touch. Uh, so there is self. So, uh, in the form, there is self, and there is no nature of self. Uh, this is called uh, original truth, this is called created truth. And, uh, These rupa klapas, the basic particles of rupa klapas are too small, but each particle is existing with four or eight, eight basic uh, nature, eight basic nature, hard and soft nature, cold and hot nature, uh, liquefied, solidified, and water nature. Gathering nature and the moving, supporting nature, the wind nature. Moving nature, the wind nature, moving nature and supporting nature. Uh, so when you pump in the air into the wheels of the car tires, it can support the heavy weight to lift up and support. Uh, because of that wind nature existing inside our body, we can we can erect our body. If we die, there is no more air nature, and bodies cannot erect. So each nature has a different jewel nature, hard and soft, cold and hot. So these natures should be in balance. So to be in balance, we must we must. Create, we must create like our life to be. <coughs> Sometimes we must stay quiet. If you stay quiet for a long time, becomes unbalanced again. The four elements becomes unbalanced again. We need to move again, and we cannot move long time. Tired again, pain again. We need to quiet again, and then we need to eat. And we cannot eat all the time, so we need to stop. And if after stopping for a long time, we need to eat again. And we need to rest, sleep. And we cannot sleep long time. If we sleep too long, we become tired again. So <coughs> it will be never perfect. Um, that's that's the, the truth of misery, the truth of unperfections, the truth of dukkha. Living the life is not free from creations. You need to create. It's called that kind of creations, changing are called sankara. If something is not free from sankara, it is not free from suffering. Uh, what is sankara? Sankara means creations. Creations doing life. Our, our life is not, not automatically going on because of creation, because of eating, because of sleeping, and that's moving still. That, that, that kind of things are called sankara. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, we still need to do sankara, but we must care for wrong sankara, not to do the wrong sankara. There are three kinds of sankara: o n y a b i sankara, a p o n y a b i sankara, a n i n j a b i sankara. o n y a b i means good, good creation, uh, like doing good deeds. Uh, Like we need, and then another two terms: a w a j a sankara and w a j a sankara. w a j a means uh, correctly understanding, truly understanding. a w a j a means wrongly understanding. So, as long as we are living our life, we cannot be free from. Pains, uncomfortness, itchiness, tensions, hotness, cold. Whether we like or don't like, we have to. So we need to practice for our mind to be free from suffering. Physically, it's impossible to be free from suffering, but mentally, we can be free from suffering. And yeah, uh, life is. And the fact life is suffering, but no choice. We have to go on because dying is not the end. If we die, all, all the sufferings will gone. No, that's not true. If we die, we have to continue. Maybe not sure what what's next. Another life, maybe worse than this life. It's never sure. So we have to go on. Changes. 
the bars of the Georgia. Sounds are changing, weathers are changing, smells are changing, the sensations are changing. And Nama has the nature of feeling, feeling and knowing. So uh, let's say someone say bad about you, and if let's say you are angry, and if you have the idea, there is that he is saying bad about me, and who is me? There is no I, no self. So there is nothing to be angry. If someone really not forgetting about, there is no self. There is nothing to be angry, uh, nothing to be greedy, nothing to be happy with someone saying good about you. There is no self. So your mind no need to be shaking like, uh, let's say if someone say uh, he is a dog, and you know yourself you are not a dog, and no need to be shaking. But if someone is very, very egoistic, very selfish, I is so strong and it will be very angry. So the root of love is depending on the elements, on the four elements. If there are no four elements, there wouldn't be any uh, Rupa Klapas. Rupa Klapas. Rupa Klapas are Rupa Klapas only. Uh, you, don't, <laughs> you don't need to think this. Uh, and in these Rupa Klapas, not only the four elements, plus Vona, Kanda, Rata, Oza is Another four natures. Vona is the, the color, the scent, the view. And Kanda is the smell. Uh, Rata is the taste. Oza is the nutrients. So each Rupa Klapa has different <coughs> colors, different smell, different taste, different nutrients. So Rupa Klapa is inside the bowl and Rupa Klapa is inside the muscles, the nutrients are different, the colors are different, the smell will be different, the taste will be different, and each person is different. So it's why it is different, why the colors are different, is karma is one of the causes, karma. Uh, there is, nothing is blindly happening. Why this person look good? Why this person is not looking good? It's not blindly happening. Karma. If someone did the causes, like for the environment to look good, uh, volunteering and the karma, how willingly that person did, and that's getting back as the effect, looking good. to look good, clean as much as you can. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> so you should not be like for me, for myself to look good, cleaning, and this is your doing with bad mind. <laughs> and that's not not much effective. That's greedy for a good Do you know what Nama is? I thought you know you mentioned Nama, but you didn't mention it. Yeah, Nama means mental, mental nature. So you can change your karma. Yes. Yeah, karma is not only depending on the past karmas. The present actions are also karma. However, uh, bad karmas you have, you you have the right to live your life. And in a correct way, you go avoid that, and from from the present life you can build up your strong karma, good karma. So not to be not to be 
is supplied with past karmas. The past is finished already. We cannot go back to the past and we cannot, <coughs> we cannot correct back the wrong mistakes we did. Finished already. So we should not be hanging around with that past, uh, clinging, clinging on the past, dwelling in the past and not, should not be uh, guilty with ourselves, should not be uh, depressing, should not create yourself. I am a sinner, I am a sinner. So you have the chance. The present is the most important. So focus the present. Minds arise 
and the present mind is calming down, just doing your, the present job, willingly, wholeheartedly. Maybe most of the times this mind will be winning, and you are calming down. Maybe like, like 80, 20. Then, and you are trying, 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 not giving up, it becomes like 60, 40, then 50, 50. Mm -hmm. The most important is not to give up. And this is the mind that keeps your mind full? And this, this, is the, is the, this, is the, this is the conscious mind. And this is Present. the mind that can make you sleepy. Yeah. So if this is too strong, then you can just fall asleep. If this one is strong, then it's okay. It will happen. It will happen. The fall, fall asleep, it will happen. But once you are aware, one time you will aware, you will fall asleep. Because of something, because of the sound, or because of the sense, you will aware. And that kind of time, that time is the most important. It's finished already. Fall asleep, you are aware already. Okay, finish, let it be. Just go on with calm mind. You didn't ask your body and mind to fall asleep. This happened because there is no nature of self, no self. Let it be. So, you are not you are not uh, just blindly uh, blaming like no self. Then no self, then no need to do, okay, fall asleep, dead, fall asleep. No, you are trying to change from no self to self. But, but, uh, but not based on self. Nobody wants to fall asleep. But it's happened. So, so, <laughs> Not not based on self, not complaining self like why I was fall asleep. It happened uh, out from your wish because there is no nature of self. And once you know, just continue with calm mind. From the present to the future, to have calm mind. You're trying for that. The past is finished. Let it be. Then one hour session, you fall asleep 50 minutes, no problem. Last 10 minutes, before 10 minutes finish, uh, you aware, okay, forget about 50 minutes. Don't angry with your mind. How important is uh, continuity of mindfulness? Like when I meditate, I feel it's not like about 15 minutes sleepy and 10 minutes uh, aware. It feels like maybe 10 minutes sleepy and then half a minute aware and then 5 minutes sleepy and then 10 minutes aware. What? Well, yeah, it's, 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 it's not only you. It's not only you. Most of the people are the same. Yes. So you have to start from that. Not to give up. Just go on. And then half minutes becomes one minute. That's an improvement. I was the same. And yeah, not all the sessions. Like nowadays, if I meditate, uh, most of the sessions, uh, like maybe like 80, 20, uh, 20, 80, like that. 80, good, aware? Yeah. Yeah, most of the sessions, but not all the sessions, some of the sessions, uh, uh, maybe like uh, it's 70, 30, like that. But just keep it regular. Let it be winning or losing is to experience only, not to give up. And because of that kind of trying, at most of the sessions I can meditate with it. 2080. Yes. Uh, only when you really able to free up your mind, then the awareness becomes stronger. Right. There are so many things to aware, so many senses, senses to aware. Now, at this present time, I aware some tensions inside my chest. I wear his arms, I wear the breeze touching to my skin here, there are so many, and the views, many senses, 
open that senses, all the senses, eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind, open all the senses and checking the present mind. That is vipassana. Vipassana. If you tie your mind in one sense, the breath, that is not the real vipassana. Maybe at the beginning you need to do it, but do not meditate all the times that way. If you are just meditating one way all the time, you will become bored. You will really become bored. Boring. Boring. No need to be like searching the senses. Automatically, mind has the nature of awareness. Automatically. If, if the senses are not noticeable, like the quiet environment, the quietness is the sense. You wear no sounds. You wear the quietness. And because of the, that quiet, quietness, what can affect you? the mind is boring, fall asleep. The chance is that to aware the sound is easy. To aware the quietness is not easy. And pains on the body. There are some painful areas. There are some unpainful areas. But the sensations are going on in those areas also. Uh, you aware mostly the painful areas. Because of unpainful areas, in the mind, it's equanimous, it's no problem. But you are not aware of that. So your mind should be equal on that painful uh, sensations and unpainful sensations. Not suggesting good or bad on anything. and the unconscious mind. The conscious mind is the one that is aware of the sense consciousness. And the unconscious is not aware. Unconscious. Uh, I mean subconscious. The subconscious. Like subconscious is daily, daily life minds. Habitual. It's for and if I listen to your voice, I can't, maybe, I'm not aware of something that is happening around me. And you can aware one, one time, one sense, one mind. One, one sense is one time, I think, one mind. Like when you are aware of the sound knowing mind, you are not aware of the sensations knowing mind. That's the nature. Hmm. Isn't samadhi concentration on one object only? Yeah, that's samadhi practice. One, one object means one sense. Use one sense to, to focus in on one sense. Time the mind and that sense to, to stabilize your mind, calm down your mind. And that's samadhi, that, that's samadhi practice. But when you practice vipassana, you must let go your mind's time and one sense. Free up. It's free. Let the mind free. And maybe the mind will be uh, reaching to the thinking sense. This is also a sense. A sound is also a sense. <coughs> thinking is also a sense. <coughs> and that thinking is also impermanent. It was not existed. So mindfulness means to be relaxed and be aware of mindfulness means mindful knowing the present mind, your present mind. That's the mindfulness. Yeah. So like uh, you you can mindful the present mind like in this year you are living with what kind of mind? 
mostly with depressing minds or angry mind or unsatisfied mind or calm mind. You can check with the whole year, like uh, maybe because of the place, because of the job, because of the situations, what mind is arising mostly. For me, I am staying in this meditation center. So most of my mind is arising because of this center. Like, uh, last time, like many unsatisfying minds, unsatisfying on people, oh, they are staying in meditation centers. Why? Why they are staying like this? That complaining minds. Uh, but now my mind becomes different. I aware, I can accept, there is no self-nature. Whatever will not happen according to your wish, it will happen according to its own nature. Some people are not joining the retreats like the drivers, however I talk to them, they are not willing to come and no choice, I have to accept it. Because they are not my workers, I didn't pay uh, for their jobs. And, okay. you, 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 uh, you can do only the amount that you, you are able to. And you have to accept the amounts that you are unable to yet. Uh, my main job is leading this center, teaching, with what kind of minds I am leading this center. Should not be angry, angrily leading, should not be depressingly leading, should be calmly leading. Only, only if I can accept the truth, the non self truth, and only I can, I will have a calm mind. Like, I have many I had many unsatisfactions with my mother <laughs> because of the attachments. Oh, I was teaching her a lot, but her mind is so easily, still easily shakeable. Why she cannot bear this? I was complaining a lot. Then I had to accept. Uh, everybody has their different perfections, and I cannot change because of my mother. She is like, oh, okay, let it be, just do your job. And most of us sitting in with a curious mind. Mm. That's the habit. Mm. That's the habit. So this retreat, this kind of technique, this kind of ways, it's not, it was not okay for the first time joiner, second time joiner, third time joiner. I do not expect clear, very clear understanding from this kind of person. But if a person is uh, joining like five times, six times, seven times, I start expecting from this kind of person. So what's using his meaning? What he is saying? Walking only. Oh yeah, this is walking only. Not thinking anything, just walking only. With very calm mind. But if someone is joining seven times already, but not willingly, uh, then cannot expect from that person. As you pretty long uh, beginner spirit. But after seven times later, you you, you many, can meditate yourself already. How many people do you have here that's already been here seven times? You know, this is fifty third time retreat. Some people already fifty two times, fifty <laughs> times. People come here just every month. Yeah. They're not bored. But they have nothing better to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, but they cannot. They they like to meditate in a retreat compared to themselves. Yeah. Of course, if you are joining a retreat, it's more, much more effective. Then. So many people recognize me also. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course, they recognize the handsome one. <laughs> Last time on the retreat, he made me, you know, turn around, and I was facing everyone, and I had to sing his Burmese uh, breakfast chant. You know, oh. of course, I totally screwed up. But he had to do the same. Yeah, we got it. I also did it the We can do it. No, I think. Sometimes we think we have the stability of mind, you know, we can rest in the mind. But then we are in situations like last time when I had to tell the speech, you know, at the end. I never held a microphone, I never heard my own voice through a microphone. I sounded like a bad copy of Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> that was a shocking experience, actually. I have to say. I have to train. It also depends on the microphone, you can tell yourself that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever <coughs> your Dhamma objects, getting in front of the crowds, because of that, what can kind of affect excitement? You said us. If you are still weak in that practice, then you have to use that object as your meditation object. Yeah, you, no, face the crowd. you will always care for the crowd. So now I become very shyless. <laughs> no more exciting uh, yeah, experiences one of course. I was very shy, such a shy person before. But now no. However the people think about me, let them think. And people, my mother always someone is talking. Bad about you. Okay, let it be. Why you are shaking? Um, me, myself is not shaking. Why you are shaking? <laughs> and you, you already had some experience because you were listening to karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> karaoke with close friends. Yeah. Maybe I should take up karaoke. <laughs> Because your mind says that they are bad. Because 
or somebody will say someone is in a dog. Ultimately, we know that the good. Yeah, in that kind of situations, like you, you may have the ability to stop that situations, or you may not have the ability to stop that situations. So if you have the chance, if you have the ability to stop, stop it. If you have no chance to stop, do not suffer. Just calmly go on. Just accept your unabilities. Then only you will have calm mind, peaceful mind. Even if we, if we, we, we use the violence to stop this situation, the, the violence. Uh, violence. You see, if you can stop this situation, do it. But sometimes you have to use the way of violence to stop it. You understand? Uh, taking the guy from her shoulder to don't keep the dog, you know, like a to his. <coughs> yeah. Maybe you may have power to stop. Sometimes you may have no power to stop. And that decision is making. It should be calmly, calmly decided. You may be able to stop, you may not be able to stop. So if able, do it. If unable, accept it. Accept the unableities. And only you will be able to accept the unableities only when you are able to accept the karma. The person, the dogs, has the karma to be uh, beat. Um, only when you are able to accept, then you will not suffer. Nothing is blindly happening. But we should not complain in the karma and not stopping it. We should try to stop this kind of situations. But although you try, and the dog still have a karma to repeat, it will still be. It depends on, on the. And if something happens to you because of you, I understand. But if something is happening to you because of other people, I cannot understand. It's not your karma, it's the other people. Their karma is their karma. Every, everybody has their own karma, and we cannot change the other's karma. Even our mother, our father, or whoever, we can change our karma only. Can I say so? Yes. Okay. What is violence? Violence. To be to be hit or hit. Yeah, that's physical action. Yeah. And some people decide that is violent, other people say, no, that's not violent. So it's subjective also, it's not objective. <coughs> but it's not about what you... You should obviously not use more force than you need to. But it's about your mind. If you don't have a violent mind, you don't have an angry mind, you have a peaceful mind, you can do almost any action. So if you, you know, if a certain violent, according to other people, action is required to stop a certain situation which you think is a good situation for you to stop, and you can stop, then stop it. But stop it with a calm, peaceful mind. And then even though some people might say, oh, you were really violent, then you can say, well, I was really peaceful. Hmm. But if it is depend on your weight, you Sometimes it doesn't depend on your peaceful mind, it depends on your, you are uh, you know, false or not. Yeah, then you're unlucky, that's your karma, you know. Then you, then you don't have the ability to stop. If there is a 200 kilogram bodybuilder hitting a dog, then, uh, then you don't have the ability to stop. But maybe you can, no, I, I, maybe you can talk to him, you know, you can say, why are you doing this? But if I know I cannot communicate with him, I should not do it because I cannot, because I am small, not him. Yeah, then you need to let it go. The dog is really unlucky, I cannot do anything about it, so I'm really sorry for the dog, but this is something I cannot do anything about, so I let it go. It's just like the pain, you know, you cannot do something about the pain, so you try to let it go. There are so many creatures suffering in this war, and so many, so many creatures, and we cannot prevent all. We, 
Only if we are like emphasizing on needs, oh, how to pre- I want to prevent this, I want to prevent this, everything should be fair, and you won't, you will not have the high energy to be, because you are sufferingly preventing. Only when you are, when you have calm mind, you are preventing this part, and you will be able to do fully in this part. And because of that unabilities, you are not suffering. You are not wasting your energies. And you will be able to do your job in the best way. Yes. <coughs> I have a dilemma today. Uh, during walk, walking meditation, uh, one of the statue, this is water. And uh, there was a lot of bites inside, big bites. I saw one that was really fighting for his life. So if I wouldn't have done walking meditation, I would have first with him. But I said, I'm doing walking meditation now, so I'm concentrating on that. And uh, I sent my good wishes, whatever, to the bark, you know, that because life is karma, but I had to do my own thing. So, Actually, that, that path was suffering since before you were walking, and uh, like while you are walking. You know? So if you want to save that kind of, that saving is good, so you can do it after that walking meditation session. Go and save at any time, but it's not happen. Mostly it's not happen. After that finish, you, people forget about it <laughs> already. Uh, I walk back, but he was... Uh, it was that hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is a problem. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, I if you are not, if you are not emphasizing on your job, there are many things will disturb your jobs to stop. And at least in that sessions, as to your jobs, calmly. What is the limit? If you are working and someone is falling down, what are you doing? You have to help. Yes. Yeah, but this is a human life. Yes, yeah, so you make the difference. Your yeah. limit is with the human life, for instance. You know, he saw the box and he didn't see like the ants or many, many creatures suffering. If you're searching, you're not meditating, you are rescuing. <laughs> but he saw. With the suffering, do you see? You didn't show the ants because you didn't feel their suffering, but you feel the suffering. Why not? The thing I could have uh, helped him, but uh, if it's his karma to suffer, he would have suffered anyway. So why, so why you, should, you should go and help after walking meditation sessions. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, I actually walk, I try to walk mindfully and I look at the path in front of me. So I try not to, not to not try, I'm not thinking about it. I'm just, my feet, not stepping on things that move mm-hmm. for something. Do not pull your I body very stiff. No, no. Be very flexible. Yeah. And, uh, do not bend down your head too much when we are practicing walking meditation. Quite flexible. And should not be too flexible. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> but can you just walk randomly? Randomly? Yeah. Oh, now some people walk to the left and then some people walk to the right. I saw some people into my walking path that I've never seen in the, in the first half hour even. You know, just like some people are walking randomly. That's not good. Walking meditation <coughs> time, you must walk in a one, like your walking path, you must, you must. I think you didn't explain it, uh, explain it well <laughs> because I think 70% yeah. of all people were just walking mm-hmm. around. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You need a starting point, yeah, ending point, and you just go between one. those. Yeah. A traffic cruise. If you walk on the right side, it's way up and the left side down. But there will be. But there will be. You, you, however, you, you decide.
excited, you follow the traffic rules and you are going on your way. There will be some people who are breaking the rules. You will see it. Yeah, I you will see it. it. Yes, in this kind of fast days, walking meditation is always happening. It's now is so much better than before. Last time we were no guidance meditations and we were just roaming in this way, this way, this way. You will see. Having tea session, talking, yeah, together, uh, photographing, and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it today. <laughs> yeah. Just a little. And some of the days are retiring, some of the days I'm participating in walking meditation. I don't care in that kind of days. However, the people breaking the rules or whatever, I don't care at all. But some of the days I'm checking. Checking meditation. That day I was not doing walking meditation, <coughs> checking meditation. And I was checking my mind. Wait, what kind of mind you are checking? You should not be angrily checking. Because I had to prepare. I will see. I will see people <laughs> breaking the rules. Uh, some are not. They are not willingly breaking the rules unknowingly because of ignorance in their minds. They are not aware of their actions. If they are not aware of their minds, they are not aware of their actions. And I roaming because of the mind is leading, the mind is wandering. So the physical is following, wandering. So I should not be angry. They are not purposely insulting me. They are not purposely breaking the rules because they are not knowing the minds. I should not be angry. So I should remind them that kind of days I will talk very straight. And I don't talk while while practicing multi meditations. I talk like that. I try to make sure my I'm not talking it angrily. And that's While teaching to people, I'm trying my mind not to be liking, disliking of people. Uh, for the teacher, like uh, the teachers will like who are very stable, calm, peaceful, following your instructions uh, very nicely. Your mind can adapt to that kind of people, and your, your anger can arise every time happening like this walking meditation style, this, and sitting meditation time, not okay, standing meditation time, this, and this is the character of people. And <coughs> your anger can arise by this kind of persons. And of course, you are teaching for the meditators not to be angry. You cannot teach with anger in your minds for the for the meditators to be free from anger. So you must have this quality, then you will be able to share this quality to people. Only when you have peace, you will be able to share peace to the other.
when they rest the mind from the laziness. Because the mind nature is that, habitual mind nature is that, if you have to do something constantly, or just one thing only, one job only, like to do <coughs> that habit, habits, uh, letting go the habits. He said, he said, he said, I think Uzin said, uh, walking naturally, but definitely not be free. Be <laughs> natural. <laughs> no, I didn't say no, 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 It's a 
the production. Yeah. And walking meditation times that that are patient's minds, lazy minds, high chance to arise. It's high chance. Don't be lazy. Just if you keep on it, then you will be able to break that laziness. Yeah, so you need to just get through it. Yeah. So you need to be, your physical should be in, the four elements should be in balance. So if you are just meditating, sitting, 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 and, and your mind cannot, cannot be happily able to meditate. The walking, sitting, standing, that kind of rotations, and then you will be able to continue. I will have uh, enjoyment on meditation. But shouldn't we detach from pain in the body also? Detach in pain. Yeah, detach it from the, even though the body is in pain, the mind is free. Yeah. So we should also that, always that, be on the board about that. Uh, pains, for example, pains or tensions. So at the beginning, it's very condensed. It is very, the, the, like the water nature is so, so condensed, hot, very hot. But if you are just keep on and then the, then the, the rupa klapa process at the beginning is very intense. And then when you keep on doing, you will feel the vibrations the rupa klapa process vibrations. And when you feel quite a lot of vibrations, it's quite a pleasant uh, like vibrations. In the bed. Inside the body. Yes. Inside the body. Like pain, is pain, no pain, pain, no pain, pain, no pain. But when you start noticing it, that is quite attaching. It's, it's like breaking, breaking the intensity, and you, later on you will see like a wave, the rupa clavas replacing waves, and that is so, so please, pleasing. So the pain dissolves, and then you get yeah. these tingling waves. Yeah, yeah, that's. That process is going on. If you meditate like long hours, five hour sessions, you will notice it becomes very intense, and then it's it's like breaking, breaking out, tingling, and then intense again. And after like the time is quite like exact, like half an hour later or half an hour later, like that kind of changes. So you need to go half an hour through intense pain and then you have half an hour pleasure. Not, not exactly, not, different people have different times. Okay. Yeah. I noticed it when I was, when I was meditating the five hour sessions in the previous retreats in other centers. Five hours in the room? Yeah. But then you don't move at all. That time I didn't move. I try not to move. Yeah, I can do it. I always move. If you do, you will you will be able to do it. The mind is the most important one. I will do it. Then you will do it. Yeah. Right, let's do it. <laughs> so this afternoon we meditate. If I ask you to do five hours, if I never say oh, meditation time is over, Five hours. You yeah. will be able to do it. I think I run away after five hours. I won't let you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just need a strong determination. Yeah. Computer giant determination will be the thing then. Yeah, it's so I know. and living life is not the separate one, it's it's an applied one.
It's been a good question how to keep the peace at home. <laughs> I'm not sure actually. It really depends on how you live the life. Like just you try to keep the peace when you're meditating and and then after getting up from the meditation hall, you let your habitual mental process going on itself. Then like it's like firings and watering, firings and watering. And the water amount is so less and the fire amount like putting the fuels so much and then of course the amount you the amount of peace you get will be less. It's cause and effect on it. We need ethical behavior. Yeah. Oh, that's okay, right. So meditation, how many <coughs> how many hours you need to meditate every day? It's it's all the times, except the times when you're falling asleep. The rest of the time should be your meditation time. That's why it's it's not natural for to to sit like this. Uh, all the times of the day it's impossible so uh, meditation does not mean that only wasn't this somehow included in your question before like how you can keep the peace peaceful mind in daily life when you see situations and you lose your peace and you want to lose so let me share you how I try to keep my mind peace. I got a call from someone at 11.45 p.m. And she was in emergency. And she called me and said, We are in Nepito and the police catch us. <laughs> <laughs> and Julie they didn't bring her passport. And how oh, then the man was drunk and all. And then I, I was thinking, oh, what to do? <laughs> and she said, ah, the police is not not allowing Julie to follow the bus, and she he is asking her to leave here and sending back to Yangon. <laughs> then I was thinking, what to do? Okay, I'll try my best. Uh, if can, okay. If cannot. Okay, let Julie go back. <laughs> <laughs> it's a calm. It's good. It's a calm. I cannot do any, anything. Yeah. So, so I asked to her, can I talk with that person? Uh, can you pass your phone to the police officer? And then the lady said, uh, can you talk with our monk? And I hear his voice. I cannot talk with anybody. I don't need to talk to anybody. I'm hearing from this. Okay, okay, if you don't want to talk, okay, let it be. No choice. If we cannot talk anything to him, and if we have to let Julie to go back, okay, no choice. Get <laughs> <laughs> So what happened? Yeah. What happened after? Was she, because she now she's here. <laughs> how, did that, how did that happen? Yeah. Don't know. And, uh, you uh, just didn't hang up the was the yeah, of course, I had to hang up. Then the, the, she said, okay, he said he is going to call the <coughs> immigration officer because this is an immigration case. He is the police, <coughs> just the police, perfect police. Officer. So, okay, let him call. So I will try again when the immigration officers come. And then, actually, the car is coming from Yangon to Gengulun. And it is going into Nepido, drop some people, and come back, and then come to Gengu. Mm. So they, I think they four, they, they, they get down from at that point, and the car go into Nepido, and coming back, then the lady called them. Who said, now okay, everything is fine. They let us to uh, follow the bus. The immigration officer is not coming. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's here. <laughs> Good call. So how long did the bus have to wait? Two hours? One. Oh, no. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. 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 Yeah
can show it in the bus. Two of us. Show it in the bus. Two of us. I drink a cup of tea. Smoke a cigar. Show the police how to take my braces off and say, let her go. And that's finished. That's nice. She was very penny. The lady was very penny. The lady was really penny. Very penny. All of us. Which lady was in penny? Uh, one of the ladies. The Burmese. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> really penny. Yeah, that, that is not the right point. <laughs> yeah, and when I came back, both the seats were occupied. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I thought people are worried about me, you know, my ego. Come back, it's always the same. I was thinking. That was for five minutes. So, so uh, then I was contact because the next bus is leaving at 4:30 a.m. from Tanya Center. Maybe <laughs> that bus can bring a passport, but we have to we have to wake up some people like him. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I was searching the number and cannot contact. Okay, let it be. <laughs> <laughs> in a job, I would, you know, if you have a stressful job, quit the job. If you have a peaceful job, keep the job. And you need to remind yourself during the job also that you need to be mindful of the present moment. So maybe every time you take a cup of coffee or you go to the toilet, take five minutes for yourself, meditate a bit. And uh, in, the, in the evening and morning, you should also try to meditate. You should try to meditate during your job, but this is, I guess, impossible, so... This is what I try to do. Do not emphasize on that. My good salaries, my best salaries. You are not blindly getting that best salaries. You don't be stressed. Responsibilities, high responsibilities. You just just try on like regular one, not too stressed, and you are not getting. Too less, too much, too high. Try for that kind of jobs. If you are unable to uh, stay in a meditation center yet, <laughs> yeah, you can also become a monk. Yeah. Too much happiness is suffering. Yeah. 
if you are really enjoying on happiness and it, you you can attach on that happiness, and then if you are not getting that kind of happiness, you suffer. It is not free from suffering. The happiness you get from sensuous pleasures, like some people really like drinking, and it, it's make them happy. Then that that can become a they, they, they have hungriness to get these feelings again and again. And when they are not not getting this chance, it's really down. Side effects are there. So happiness from sensual pleasure is not the real happiness. And what is it the real happiness? Happiness means that calm mind, and uh, you, your mind is unshaking. Uh, however, even in very hot weather or very noisy places you're getting, it cannot affect your mind. So your mind. You are not depressed, you are not disappointed, and you are calm. And that kind of happiness is different from that highly emotional happiness. This is lasting long quite lasting long happiness. This is very short one. The time is duration is very short one. So it is not free from suffering. Your expectations to get that. So what is the difference between the equanimous feeling and the calmness of the mind? Similar? Equanimous feelings and calmness, yeah, it's the same similar. Is that you're very long in way. I mean, you're awake, you are working on your mind and try to detach of everything that you have around. Detach does not mean like uh, try not to see, not to hear. Let, let hear, let see. Uh, as long as you have eye, you will see. But detach from happiness, unhappiness, like you are unlucky. Seeing only, hearing only. But even with people, I can understand this, what I think, but to be detached, detached with my family, with my people, it's like. Yeah, uh, if you are right. like staying together with family and you're still having the families. Caring the family as family member is not a mistake, but attaching like uh, when when something bad will happen to my family members or that kind of worries is because of attachments. It's never sure. However, you care, it's never sure. So you have to accept it. Some maybe. Any time can spoil, any time can die, accept it. So then, with that kind of mind only, you will, you will be able to care, proper care. When you have calm mind, when you start getting calm mind, your decisions will become automatically right decisions. Your actions will become the right actions. You will have less and less confused whether right or wrong with my, my actions. Who decides if it is right or wrong? The wisdom itself. The wisdom will decide itself. If it is without greed or hatred or ignorance, then it is right. Would that be? Jhana, it's called Ikekata, the fifth side of the one pointedness. Uh, one pointedness. One pointedness. Comes. Ekakata. One pointedness. What is one pointedness? Hmm? What is one pointedness? Ekakata is a, a factor that you get if you 
is a jhana factor. And jhana is an absorption state of concentration. Mm-hmm. So in the samadhi practice, concentration practice, mm-hmm. on one single object, you can do color, breath, many things, peace. Mm-hmm. Um, you, your mind becomes really stable, what he was saying. And if your mind becomes super, super stable, it stays on the same object, you can get these jhana factors. And one of those factors is one pointedness. There's also joy, happiness. There is uh, going towards the object and staying on the object. So there's five, five jhana factors in total. Mm-hmm. And so this one pointedness is uh, makes your mind like super sharp. So if you focus on something, you can see way more detail than when your mind is not so sharp. So these signs are more five signs. Uh, when let's say you are focusing on the breath, breathing in, breathing out. Uh, so the first sign is uh, just now he said going towards the the first going towards the object. Going towards the object. In Bali town it's for we dead. So you have your mind drifted and just going towards the object again, I put back the effort mm-hmm. again and again. And then uh, the second sign is called Vichara. Vichara is the staying... Staying of the resonating, like the resonating of the object. It's yeah, like a yeah, you have to like maintaining, not to drift away, but you're, you're, you don't have to put back again and again. And it's stay to, to be staying on that object, you have to maintain it. Then, then like doing this, focusing on it, and you will start getting joy. You will joy and uh, happiness. happiness. And your mind is no more drifting. It's you are happily able to do it. Then you will start getting the one pointless, pointedness. Automatically, your mind is on that. Really on that. That is Ikegata, the signs, the mental factors attached in the mind. So when you have really like peace, the peace you have to build up, then when you really have that peace, you don't need to build up, it's automatically there. It at any situations, at any anywhere, any times, you're getting that one pointedness, permanent peace. Maybe this kind of days is like going towards the object. Calm mind, calm mind. And habitual minds will be winning, but you have to put the effort, put back the effort on calm mind. So this kind of practice is called uh, direct vipassana. Vipassana yami gawe. Not purposely building up the samatha fast and Changing the vipassana. This is directly vipassana. Vipassana yamika. But we need to build up the samatha fast. If your mind is so boring, sad, unhappy, you cannot practice it. And only when you are aware that your mind is free from boring, sad, unhappy, then you will have a stable mind. And then, like, Whatever objects are going on, the mind aware itself, whatever awareness, there's no liking, no disliking. But let's say you are walking and you see something, and last time, whenever you see that things, you the anger is like to come out. And when you walk, and you see that things, the anger will still come out because of the past causes. And now you are seeing the, and you see your minds from very calm minds, anger arise, and it's not blindly arise because of the past causes. And you are, you are understanding the cause and effect, and you are not, no more suggesting this is angryable sense, this is angryable sense, no more. No more creating for the future anger to stronger. Then that 
So, and you are not unsatisfied with your mind. Why I cannot control my mind from free from anger? Or cause and effect. And then the anger, maybe next time you see that object again, the anger will still arise, but it will become lesser. You will see yourself. So, not blocking, not blocking your anger by not looking at that one. Let the eye see that and stopping the cause. Not stopping the effect, stopping the cause. Not looking that thing is stopping the effect of one time saw it. In the dining table, like the food you like, the greed will come. And uh, if available, just enjoy it. Just do it. <laughs> I'm not eating that, and then your greed will not lost. It will still there. Uh, and you are knowing the cause and effect, then in the future, if available, okay. If not available, you are not missing. And then, okay. And you have some karma to eat that. That's why you are getting it. Just wait. No karma, you get it. Not, not set. Don't set. afternoon sessions you will be with so I told the other teacher I'll be inside the hall with your girls and night session you will be with me again and here so do we have to do the Dharma talks always in here? yeah it's so interesting to do the other way nowadays we are doing here yeah. Well, maybe we can go outside again. It's not very clear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's cute. It's cute. <laughs> you sit in the dark. Okay. I don't think. Mm-hmm. We need a room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can cover myself. You got a bit of that in your room. I'm a mosquito. I kill it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there are four people sitting in your mosquito. Then. <laughs> you carry your mattress also. <laughs> he has a mattress. This thick. Yeah. No. <laughs> 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 sorry, I'm so jealous. <laughs> that is my jealous mind, you know. No, not air pumping, it's just a nice thing. Yeah, you know. sure. How did he carry it? Yeah. No, it uh, found it here. Oh, karma, he has a karma. But it's not so good because it keeps the shape of the body, so it uh-huh. actually really hard. Yeah, yeah. So you and if you're not a bit, you know, you would. <laughs> 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 okay, thank you very much for <laughs> Sleeping on the hard floor is just like a long Yeah, yeah it's good for the bones. Yeah. <laughs> but if I'm last, 60, then it's, I think it's... Last time, because of that mattress, I got back pain. 
and now I remove that, and now it's really okay, I'm really okay. 